Right, so we're going to be drawing a lower cell because the slowest requires you to draw a eukaryotic cell and they've taken the example of a liver cell. So let's draw a liver cell. Uh, I'm going to start off by drawing the plasma membrane. If you remember, uh, animal cells do not contain cell walls. They've only got a plasma membrane. Uh, plant cells contain cell walls and prokaryotic cells can contain cell walls, but animal cells only contain a plasma membrane. And so that's going to be our plasma membrane. And our plasma membrane um, really controls what comes in and goes out of the cell because it's semi permeable. Um, so we'll just control what can enter the cell and what exits the cell. The next thing we're going to be drawing is our nucleus. The nucleus contains the genetic material of the cell and is surrounded by a nuclear envelope. So that's our nucleus. And around it is the nuclear membrane or the nuclear envelope as you wish um, and yeah like I said it contains the genetic material of the cell the genetic material really controls the cell uh, we're gonna now draw a rough endoplasmic reticulum the rough endoplasmic reticulum is these sort of structures in the cell and what they have is ribosomes on them and this is why they're called rough endoplasmic reticulum because you can get smooth endoplasmic reticulum um, which does not have ribosomes but the syllabus really only wants you to draw the rough endoplasmic reticulum so this is a rough endoplasmic reticulum with these ribosomes and really the rough endoplasmic reticulum basically um, is able to modify proteins the ribosomes around the rough endoplasmic reticulum produces the protein and then the rough endoplasmic reticulum takes these proteins, modifies them and it's only for proteins that are going to be excreted outside the cell. And so that's our rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now the ribosomes are not to be confused with uh, free ribosomes. Free ribosomes we're going to draw later. And these are the ribosomes attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, and the next thing we're going to be drawing is the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is this sort of structure here, slightly rounded and it's stacked like the rough endoplasmic reticulum like so and what the Golgi apparatus does is it basically modifies protein which either come from the free ribosomes in the cytoplasm or um, basically this rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, and it packages them and it's for protein that are either used inside the cell or to be excreted So once again, it just either modifies the protein further or uh, and then just packages them uh, to be excreted or to be uh, kept in the cell. Uh, let's see, let's draw our mitochondria now. Mitochondria are structures in the cell. They're very important because they're really the things uh, that give the energy um, to the cell, the energy the cell requires. They produce uh, this energy, so they've got many metabolic processes that occur uh, within them and uh, they um, give the cell its energy. So that's our mitochondrion. And the next thing we're going to be drawing is lysosomes. Lysosomes are these um, round 
sort of structures and what they have is digestive enzymes in them and when they come across like bacteria or any foreign substances they will digest these and the digestive en enzymes inside them will basically destroy these foreign particles um, or bacteria for example so these are our lysosomes and finally our free ribosomes free ribosomes are found um, in the cell, everywhere in the cell, there are many of them, and they are for protein synthesis because they basically translate messenger RNA, and by doing so, they produce protein. And like I said, they're found everywhere within the cytoplasm, and that's what makes them free ribosomes. And so these are our free ribosomes. And I'm just going to also mark the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is found inside the cell. It's what basically um, contains all these organelles are contained within the cytoplasm. Um, and so the clear bit you see, the fluid bit, is the cytoplasm. And that's our liver cell.